Hello, this is Ms. Ferlazzo here. In this video, we're going to look at the relation between chords, secants, and tangents in order to find missing measurements, segment measurements, or circles. So that is our key idea. All right, and there's two different ways we're going to look at this. We're going to look at the case if there is nothing on the outside of our circle, and if there's the case that there is something on the outside of our circle. All right, so let's go ahead and look at all right so if there is nothing outside of our circle we're going to be looking at two chords all right think about that secant and tangents are both lines we're going to continue outside of our circle while chords just say inside all right so we're thinking about two chords that are going to intersect all right, so we have our two chords there. And the relationship that is formed is that the product of our chord segments are going to be equal. To, so we're going to have chord segments. So we're going to have a segment from here to here. And then our second segment for that chord is going to go from here to here. All right, but then make up the whole chord in that circle. And again, for our other chord, it's going to go from there to there. And the last segment of that chord is going to go from there to there. All right, now thinking about this, we have that the product chord segments are going to be equal. If we're looking over this real quick at our variables, we're going to take the piece of one chord and multiply it by the section of that chord, other piece of the chord. Set that equal and do the same thing with the other chord. We're going to take the piece of one chord and multiply it to its other piece. And that gets us to our formula piece times piece is our piece times piece. All right, now let's look at some examples. All right, looking at this first one, if I gave you three, that's here. So when we multiply, we want to multiply it to the root of that same chord. It's going to be our four here. And we're going to do the other chord. So if I give you six, I want to buy the rest chord, which is going to be two. And in the end, 12 is going to be 12. All right. But sometimes we have variables. as So we're going to still do the exact same thing. So we're going to have our piece, which is four and multiply it to our other piece, same segment, now x. All right, and we're gonna set that equal to the piece of other chord times the remainder of that chord as well, so our piece. So we get four times is equal times h, eight, sorry. It's just gonna become our x, is equal to 16 and now we do some algebra solve so we're going to guide over our 4 to get that x to 4 all right if we see nothing on the outside looking at something on the outside so this is what you use whenever you see anything out the circle there is two cases specifically that we want to look at we want to look at if there is two secants that are something on the outside, or if it is one secant and one. We're looking at two secants. We're going to take the products of their outer segment. So we want the product between the whole secant, just the little outer segment part, and we're going to set those. So let's look at that over here. Looking with the variables. We want to do the product of the whole secant, which is going to be the whole line here, which we're going to get by adding these pieces there. So we're going to get our i plus h. And we're going to multiply that to our outer segment. Our outer segment is just going to be the part that is outside of our circle. Right, so that is going to our h. So we're going to multiply those. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side since we are dealing with two secants. We're going to take the whole secant, which is going to be our f plus g, and just multiply it by the outer part, which is g. 
All right, let's look at an example for two secants. So first, our formula over here for two secants is just going to be our whole times our outer is equal to our whole. Set. We want our whole, which is these two together. So that is going to be 5 plus 4 multiplied by our outer, which is just segment that is outside of our circle, which is going to be our. And that again is going to equal the same thing for our other secant, which is our whole, which is going to be 9 plus 3 multiplied just our outer segment, which is going to be 3. All right, so now if we have, you should have nine, 4 is equal to 12 times 3. 9 times 4 is 36, so is 12 times 3. And just like with nothing on the outside when we were dealing with two chords, sometimes you are going to have variables in the mix most of the time. But we're still going to stick with the same thing, so we are going to do our whole, which is going to be x plus 2 times outer, which is just 2, and that is going to be equal to our whole of our other secant, which is going to be 5 plus 3, times are going to be 3. So now that we have a variable in this here, we actually have to distribute our 2. So this is going to be 2x plus 4 is equal to, now over here since there's no variable, we just can add in the parentheses and multiply that by 3. So we get our 8 in the parentheses, multiply that by 3, and that's going to give us 24. From there, we just subtract over our 4, so that is going to be 2x is equal to 20 and divide by 2, which will give us plus into 10.